KSPY Sydney Brandt spoke to an evacuee today and shared her experience having to leave her home with several pets. Megan, today I spoke with one evacuee who says yesterday it was a stressful situation getting out of their house safely for her, her roommate, and several of their pets. The feeling of relief after a day of uncertainty. I was just at home with my dog and my parents gave me a call and they were like, hey, you need to start checking this out and you probably need to leave, get your stuff together and grab your animals and go. These four pets, Nemo and Bruce, along with her roommates, Binks, who seems to be okay here on the gravel, and Daisy, a French bulldog, the two co-parent together, all saved from the pond fire. Julie Monster says she too faced a challenge in rescuing animals. She works with HEAT, a local organization dedicated to evacuating large animals during disasters in San Luis Obispo County. A challenge she faced, getting the horses to be ready in a time of chaos. What happens is it's a very excitable situation and the horse, everybody's, you know, there can be fire trucks around, there can be a lot of activity and the horse is nervous and if they're not willing to load, it, it can become very dangerous. The fire still a battle Sunday as crews work to mop up what flames still burn. Officials say less fire activity today than the battle last night, which comes as good news in a time that could have been much worse but it kind of shot that in perspective, how crazy that is. They just suit up and run into the fire, which isn't what you're supposed to do. And I just am so thankful for all of those guys out there because I there's no way I'd be able to do anything like that. And Ashley tells me that her and her roommate will be able to return home tonight in Creston. She says she feels confident to return back to her home, but says that she will prepare a bag in case of future fires. Reporting in Creston, Sydney Brandt, KSBY News.